There's over 270 terabytes here. The OWC Thunder Bay 8. So I just posted a photo to my Instagram a, a little bit ago, a few weeks ago, and it was about, I don't know if you can see it here, my crazy hard drive setup. There's over 270 terabytes here. I am not a great tech reviewer or gear reviewer. It's not what I like to do, it's not what I'm good at, but I'm making this video because you guys asked. So don't rake me across the coals because this is a terrible review. I know it's probably pretty terrible, but I'm letting you guys know this is fire. So I posted that photo of that 270 terabytes. I got so many questions about you know what hard drive system it was, which one was which, um, you know, because I have a Drobo up here, I have the OWC here, and people just wanted to know kind of my setup and, and why I had so much storage as well. And so uh, just a little peek into that. It is the OWC Thunder Bay 8. This thing is uh, 96 terabytes right here, and you can put, they have different options uh, on their website. They have everything, I believe, from you know 32. 46, 72, there's, there's different tiers. I personally have a 96 and a 96. And the reason I have that is I shoot and direct a lot. I have lots and lots of footage of just years of music videos, commercials, promo stuff. I have a myriad of companies from Prism Lens Effects, Tropicolor, Buffner's Media, and we're just always shooting stuff. And it's something that you, you want to save that footage. I have an online film program and we're able to go back years talking about projects because I have all of that footage still to this day. It used to be on these old G-Ray drives. These are my new drives, my new setups. They're a beast for not only the amount of storage that it holds, but the write speed, which is one of the main reasons I got these drives, which I'll touch on here in a second. So I got them as working drives to work off of, but also extreme back storage. Uh, this Drobo drive is just an older drive that I've had and, and I'm using to transfer some data right now. So once I get my new desk set up, I will move this out and this will be just deep, deep storage. Um, and then one of these will be solely just deep backup storage. And the other one is more like of a current working drive, current projects that I'm working on. Once the projects are done, I'll move it to the backup drive. Does that make sense? I was trying to look for the write speed on here. I don't see the write speed, but the write speed is absolutely insane and and why i got that so not only the fast transfer data of data but also like as i'm editing working off of these machines um, increases my ability to to edit footage seamlessly uh, it's like cutting through butter not only do i have the the nice imac pro back here but having these drives to pair with it uh, really really does help my edit speed and so that's a, a big reason why i got uh, these drives right here So there you can see all the working drives in their glorious nature. This thing is a monster. This setup is absolutely a monster. I love these, my favorite drives ever. I've absolutely had no issues with them. I've had issues with other drives in the past, but these have been phenomenal. And they are, like I said, my go-to drives. Uh, my business partner, Tom, also has these drives for his setup. He has two of these. I believe he has a 72 terabyte as well as a 96 terabyte as well. So I'll link the website and the link to these specific drives in the video description below. Uh, so if you guys wanna go check them out, you can. They're not affiliate links. I'm not being paid by them to say or do any of this. This is strictly me just talking about my setup and why I use them because you guys asked. So go check out that link, check them out. This is, uh, like I said, my go-to drive. OWC Thunder Bay 8. Until next time, guys, peace.